Hi, this is an extract from one of my favourite books, If Cats Disappeared from the World. It's by Genki Kawamura. He's Japanese. Okay, It's about a man who finds out he's going to die, so makes deals with the devil to keep himself alive. It's funny how one strange thing often leads to another. As for me, I ended up with terminal cancer. The devil appears, phones and movies disappear from the world, and the next thing I know, the cat is talking. Why are you still sleeping, sir? I had to be dreaming. By George, you will get up this instant. It had to be a dream. Come on now, up with you. But no, it wasn't a dream. He was actually talking. And the he who was speaking was definitely cabbage. And for some reason, he sounded so refined. It was hard to know exactly what was going on. A bit confused, are we? Aloha, that's the devil, appeared with the big grin on his face. Today he wore a sky blue Hawaiian shirt. Again, I felt like telling him to put on some real clothes. In keeping with the flamboyant style I'd come to expect from him, the brightly coloured shirt featured parakeets and huge swirling loll lollipops. It was so bright it made my eyes hurt. Not exactly the easiest thing to wake up to. Aloha was getting to be a pain and I snapped. Come on, man, you're always doing this to me. Now I wake up and the cat's not meowing, it's talking. And like a member of the landed gentry, seriously, what's happening here? My aren't we witty this morning. Well, that's just a little something extra from me to you. Something extra? That's right. After all, there are no more phones. The movies that you were so attached to are gone. So I thought you might need a little something to cheer you up, like someone to talk to or a new hobby or something. So I just thought I'd make your cat talk. I just happened to dabble in magic. You didn't know? After all, I am the devil.